Hey guys, it's Pedro back with another interview covering Worlds 2024. For this occasion, I'm here accompanied once again by Caps, mid laner for G2, coming off this time a loss to BOG at the end of their Swiss stage and said competition's run in its totality. Uh, Caps, like I said, thank you so much. Tough way to go down. I, I was able to catch a little bit of a, uh, of a glimpse of your conversation with Kedro, you know, before stepping in today. So you kind of already gave us a, a headspace as to, or a, a, an account of your current headspace right now, but like still to come off so fresh from a, a, a match like that, you know, how, how are you kind of feeling right now? Um, yeah, I'm mean, definitely disappointed. I think I I thought we could could do better for sure, and I I think I could have done a lot better this world. So it's it's a big disappointment for us. I think um, I'm of course feeling sad that we we or like that I wasted this opportunity. I think um, you only get to go to so many worlds, and we we didn't make it out of group. So I, I'm I'm just feeling yeah, very disappointed. Uh, sad, of course. I think. It's also just feeling a bit unreal because, yeah, it, it feels weird to just like watch the next games now go on as I was about to enter here and um, we're out, right? And I I just hope we could have done more. So I'm, I'm just, yeah, very disappointed, sad, of course, and and not, not really sure what to, to, to do with myself right now. But, um, but yeah, we will bounce back. You know, as you kind of said, you know, this result, you know, kind of hit you in a way that you still feel like you're in this test pace that you still are going to compete the next day and uh obviously like this is kind of the result of how the team played you know in this series you know um taking out in being in the front end of game three specifically after one of the team fights before you guys pulled for that baron and you know when that baron call was made then that kind of snowball into bog's favor obviously but um kind of going a little bit back into game three though just kind of how do you kind of view how the match transpired you know not even including just the variant just in its entire way you know start to finish even during the uh a uh, uh, tech pause and yeah in the end even the end yeah i mean it was definitely quite a, a messy game i think um, even from little one, there were like some skirmishes, and we had a lot of quite a lot of fighting. Um, they were they were, they were trying trying to of course um, uh, gank me a lot with the with the Scana Scana and um, and Rel and and Miki and Yag were doing a very good job of defending. So we were just having a lot of free free skirmishes around mid at least in the in the early parts. And then I think um, I think they managed to get like a little bit of a lead. Uh, when they got the 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 bot turret, we didn't really have a great answer on on top side, um, but then we had a lot of good fights, and sadly we yeah had that overcall on on the Baron, um, and later on we had the the fight where it was looking very good for a bit, but uh, we ended up just barely losing out, which of course is the next Baron. So some very you know close calls here or there definitely made a difference. So. Yeah, it feels feels bad. I want to ask you about now pivoting towards the the Baron call. Exactly, what was the comms like when, uh, when that call was made? You know, you guys were coming off of a team fight win over BLG. You guys were in that position to continue that momentum and hopefully, you know, potentially then close the series to your favor. Uh, what was that comms like? You know, who made the call, or was it like a team wide thing? Um, uh, I mean, I don't remember exactly what the comms were like. I think. We definitely had, uh, I think we had had one one guy dead or something like that, uh, like for for longer than us. So we thought we could have like an advantageous fight, but of course uh, we were quite old line and we we didn't have ult, so we we couldn't really um, make it happen. Um, and I think we also thought that the 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 rumble TP'd, um, and then he he had TP for the Baron. I think once we realized that we could probably still backed out, but. Uh, we we continued so definitely like um like a, I guess a mistrack of the TP was quite big uh, because mm -hmm. I think that definitely made a difference. He was able to to chunk us out quite a bit. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I do understand that you know just kind of not not getting things right you know in the moment you know it's very whirlwind and kind of stuff. So I do understand that. And as I said at the start of this conversation during the introduction, getting out of this event, 
um, once again denied a chance of making playoffs. I mean, obviously, you, you've had some experience in just ending your run um, at the doorstep of the next phase, you know, that being playoffs. Uh, comparing, you know, last year's uh, elimination to this year, how are you kind of taking in this this year's elimination, you know, from um, that? So. I mean, I, I think every elimination feels, feels horrible for sure. Um, I think I had definitely high hopes for us, but I mean, we had the same last year, right? And I think this time around, it definitely, definitely feels, feels bad, right? I think we had worked on a lot of things that, that um, we were struggling with last year. Uh, but at the same time, I think some new obstacles occurred. And I think in terms of like our early game understanding of especially like a lot of the, the swap situations and stuff like this, we weren't quite like at a high enough level. So um, we were finding the early game is quite hard. Uh, and I think, but at the same time, I think our later parts of the game were, were definitely improved significantly. So I think if we had found a way to just, you know, clean up our early games, um, we we would have been a very scary team. And to to be out already, I mean, it, it just feels disappointing. Um, we didn't we didn't we didn't do it this year. Um, and now we have one year to to. Like we need to get in a better shape because it's been a lot of years now of just not making it out, and I, and I don't want to have like a bad snowball, right? Like a, a elephant in the room. I think we we definitely want to be the team that is 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 making Europe proud and is like going far in these tournaments and winning them and stuff like that. And now for so many years we've just been been losing, right? Uh, and sure, it's, it was a few close games, and sure we we were almost there, but we need to 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 get that last step. So. That has to be the mission for for next year. So sticking into this year, given you know obviously G two maintained their form in the LEC and had a few moments on the international stage as well. You know finishing top four, taking down top esports, all that stuff. What do you feel is going to be your one lasting impression or more lasting takeaway when it comes to kind of reflecting on this year with this uh, G two squad? Um. I mean, I definitely think that everyone worked hard this year. I think it felt very nice to be with my teammates. I think they all put in a, a lot of effort, and I think everyone was very much on the same page. I think we had a lot of good processes on how to improve, and I appreciate that because it, it like it really means a lot to me. I think it's it's why we were able to 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 make it here in the first place. Um, and I think next year just. Just need to just need to do a little bit better, right? Like really, just push that a little bit extra, um, get that extra good conclusions. Make sure that we are prepared for whichever patch will come out. Um, like obviously, this world was a huge huge change in, in in phase, and I think next year we need to be be ready for it. Um, and and just like not give up, right? Because uh, as long as we keep trying, as long as we we keep grinding, there's always hope. And it's all, not until we actually give up that that, that hope dies. And uh, now getting into a little bit of a tail end, uh, obviously, arguably, G2 has been the most successful Western team when it comes to facing the Eastern teams. Just uh, And a little bit of that flashed itself today. I'm not sure if that's the right way to kind of put it, but still. Um, kind of, I want to know your observations as how you kind of view uh the kind of gap to the eastern teams uh, after this year and given what we've seen out of g2 um i think it's i think it's very clear that they have a way better understanding about like certain concepts and i think um i think year to year those concepts might change and i think we like we have to remember that we are also have things that we're good at but sadly, I think they just have a lot more things that they're, they're, that they're strong at. And they definitely have a better understanding on, on a lot of concepts. And I think those are like the reasons that like, we're struggling against the, the LPL SK teams. I'm sure it's similar for a lot of the other EU and NA teams. And I think that um, like for next year, of course, we need to like uh, optimize, I think, a lot of the things that we learned from this world. But we really also need to be keeping a, a good eye out on what, what they are, what they have, like, uh, figuring out and and I think um, we need to be better at like learning from them because we did 
gets a few scrims against the both LPL and LCK teams. And uh, I think if we had just, you know, taken a little bit more from them, like learned a little bit more, implemented a few more things, then that would have made all the difference. So, so yeah, I mean, the the gap is definitely there right now, right? I think it's been a few years now of, yeah, a lot of, lot of tough games. It's like, it's not like it's, it's there impossible to beat, right? We, we've won games here and there. We've had close games uh, at MSI. Of course, we, we've won against top as well, but it's, it's, it's very, um, it's very LPLSK favorite, right? And we are we are losing to the the fourth and third seed as well. So we definitely need to just step it up, right? Like not just us, but all of Europe. Um, I think we have done better in the past, and we can do way better than this. Um, and and we just need to to make it further, right? Uh, I don't think there's a an easy way to do it, right? So we will have to just grind it out. I think um, I do think that. The European teams have have stepped it up a lot this year. I felt like, um, in terms of like the practice, and I think uh, there's been a lot of new players coming in with a lot of hunger as well. So I think that is exciting to see. But it just wasn't enough this year. And I think if we we can keep that going for next year, um, that just might be the the recipe for 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 us to beat the LPL LSK. Of course, at the very least, it gives us some outlook for the future. Caps, really do appreciate you giving me the time answering all of my questions for this conversation. Again, commiserations, but hopefully you guys can bounce back for next year. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much.